everyone, this is Shayna Hiller from Build Your Personal Yoga Business. And today I'd like to talk about how to charge for yoga retreats. So this video is for those of you who have already been leading yoga retreats or those of you who are interested in leading yoga retreats, workshops, events down the line. So I was recently taking a yoga class and after the class, the teacher was promoting his upcoming yoga retreat. And the way in which he was advertising and marketing his retreat to his students was, you guys got to come with me to, I don't know, Mexico. You guys got to come to Mexico, March. This is the cheapest retreat you will ever go on. Literally, this is the cheapest retreat you will ever go on. Those are the words he chose to describe the experience he's offering to his students. Now, there was a time when I thought that advertising my, re my retreat as very inexpensive or offering a lot of discounts was the way to go because, of course, people want things cheap. I was attracting cheap people. Now, that's not to say that you need to skyrocket your prices, but just know that not only what you charge, but the way in which you present, promote, and market your retreat is going to attract a certain type of person. Um, affordable is a much better word than cheap, in my opinion. But onto the fine details with how to actually go about figuring out how much to charge for a yoga retreat. The truth is, this answer is going to be different for everybody. It's gonna be different for you, it's gonna be different for the next person watching this video, and it's going to be different for you now than perhaps it was when you started teaching, or than it will be in three to five years from now. Why? Well, because we evolve. And as leaders, as facilitators, as space holders, as retreat leaders and yoga teachers, we actually do name our own price. Depending on where you're running a yoga retreat, there's usually a base price that they require you to pay in order to host your event at their facility. So that's like done. That needs to be paid no matter what or you can't use their spot to host your event. Unless of course you have your own space and you're hosting it there. But the profit that you make depends on you, depends on what you feel your time is worth. So it's something to start meditating on. I just wanted to kind of bring that up because this is a question a lot of people have been asking about how much to charge. Um, I'm more concerned with you getting present with what feels aligned. Start researching other yoga retreats. Research the places that they're hosting the retreats, how much it costs and how much they're adding on. Don't copy them, but again, this is about doing the groundwork, getting inspired so you can feel it out. Try thinking of numbers, visualize a number. Does it feel right? This is the truth about running uh, yoga retreats and teaching yoga in general, um, teaching privates, putting on events, is there's no rule book, there's no guidebook. I suggest integrity no matter what you do. Um, depending on your experience, your confidence, and your knowledge, as well as your retreat offering, uh, charge accordingly, right? If you're hosting a specific theme retreat, you're teaching people something in addition to yoga, perhaps, maybe you charge a little bit more, depending on where it is. Perhaps you have guest teachers coming in to increase the value of the experience, giveaways. There's a lot more to be covered. So if you haven't already, check out the ebook. It's free. There should be a link underneath this video. Please share this video with anybody that you think may benefit from this advice and have a beautiful day. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I have a lot more awesome videos in line for you guys. And if you have any topics you'd like me to talk about um, a, a, along the lines of yoga, teaching yoga, retreats, privates, whatever it is, please send them my way and I will do my best to make a video for you um, based on my experience and knowledge in this field of yoga. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Namaste.